Welcome back to part three of the silver cell anode filters. Refining series of videos. This is our DMG precipitate. It had some metallic silver in with it. I'm trying to uh, remove the silver by dissolving it in hot dilute nitric acid. I don't know if that's going to put the DMG precipitate back in solution or not. I've got some distilled water here. I'm just going to hydrate this material. And I'm going to leave that on there and let this cook for a while. And we're going to see whether or not we're going to be able to pull the silver out of there with hot dilute nitric acid. It's been on boiling in nitric for a little while now. Get some on a filter paper. Let's do a Stannis test. I see green. This means palladium in solution. Got these two solutions here. I'm going to test it with a little bit of stannous chloride, make sure we don't have any precious metals in solution here. And I don't see anything in this jar. On this jar back here, make sure we've got all the precious metals out of these solutions. I don't see anything in there either. solutions are devoid of any precious metals. I've got silver down here. I'll recover that and then rinse all the liquid off of it and save it and then we'll melt this up with the shot and run it through the silver cell. So now I'm just going to get these out of the way. Here's the stuff we boiled in hot dilute nitric to remove the silver. Looks like most of the silver has gone. I don't see a whole bunch of gray in there. And all we have left is the precipitate. Now what we're going to do is drop a sample of that liquid, add a little bit of hydrochloric acid. We're going to test for the presence of silver in that solution. And as you can see, the hydrochloric acid reacts with the silver nitrate and forms silver chloride. Now we'll use a transfer pipette and pull the remaining settled clear solution off of those solids in the bottom of the beaker. I'm just going to use a transfer pipette, get everything in that single beaker so that we can get at those solids to filter them out. Here's our nice clear solution. We'll set that off to the back. We're going to wipe up these little spills test it with stannous chloride and you can see we've got a nice green color which indicates palladium in solution. Now we'll pour the solution that we just drew off through a filter. There's not really a whole lot to be filtered out here. There's not a lot of solids in there. This is the solids down on the bottom of the beaker. We're going to filter those out now and capture the liquid in the flask and capture the solids in the filter. Here we're taking some distilled water and rinsing the solids off. You can see that the uh, liquid's been pulled through and it's running, the filtrate is running clear out of the bottom of that funnel. So now we'll transfer the solids that should have precious metals in them We'll transfer that filter into a clean beaker. This solution should have a little bit of silver and a little bit of palladium in it. So we'll set this back out of the way. Now I'll add a little bit of hydrochloric acid to our filter with our solids in it. Now I'm adding six milliliters of nitric acid and then we'll stir it up a little bit, put it up on the heat and let this dissolve.
This is a time lapse, about 20 minutes or so, and I let the solution boil down to a syrup to drive off all the excess nitric acid. Now we'll rehydrate the solution with a little bit of hydrochloric acid, and then we'll pull it down off the heat and allow it to cool. Now what I'll do is transfer the solution that has a little bit of silver in it and palladium mixed together in a clean beaker. Next, we'll reach down in here with some filter paper and get a little bit of the solution on the filter paper test with Stannis. I see some orange and green, which means platinum and palladium in that solution on the left. And then this weak solution that has our silver in it and palladium is uh, mostly palladium in solution with the silver. Now we'll add some ice to the aqua regia solution to cool it off, set up our filter, and then we'll go ahead and filter the solids out of that aqua regia solution. Pull this funnel off of here. I'm going to add this palladium solution that's been dissolved in aqua regia into this container. There's palladium and platinum in here, I believe. I've got this beaker marked AR for aqua regia. We're going to put AG on this one. We've got silver in here. I've got some more DMG here. It's been heated in the microwave with a little distilled water. Let's do this the other way here. I'm going to add this into this solution. See if we can precipitate out the palladium. This time I'm not going to add a whole bunch of excess DMG. Just a little bit and we'll let these react Here we go, I'm going to get a Stannis test on some of this liquid. I don't see anything there. And we'll get another one over here on this liquid. This is the one over here on the left. Or on the right, rather, the one I just dipped. It's got some silver in it. And that one looks like it's still got a little bit of precious metals in it. Let's go ahead and pull this precipitate out. This is the one with the silver in it. I'm gonna gather it up into a filter here. I've run out of room in the flask, so we're gonna empty the flask out into this beaker. Our beaker has a little bit of copper in it. I'm going to cement the silver out of this solution that I'm pouring off on that piece of copper. Still a little bit of uh, platinum group metals in that solution. That's quite all right. I'm just trying to gather up our precipitate out of this beaker. Here's our cake of precipitate, the DMG precipitate. So we'll go ahead and wash this out now real good. Try to get all the silver that we can rinsed out of this precipitate. 
Let's go ahead and pull this filter out of here. This is our DMG precipitate. Should be a little bit of platinum. Palladium in there. I'm going to put another filter in here. Cement out on copper. Now we're going to get our precipitate out of this beaker collected in a filter paper. This is the uh, DMG precipitate from the Aqua Regia solution. with some distilled water. Alrighty, here we go. We've got our DMG precipitate. It came from our silver solution. Down in here. Over here, I've got the DMG solution. Or the DMG precipitate that came from the Aqua Regia that to a beaker now and cover it up now we've got most of our platinum group metals should be in these two beakers here and I think this is a convenient place to end part three this will conclude part three of the silver cell anode filters recovery and refining video. Thank you for watching.